Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to efficiently reference data and build formula with name manager, which is in the defined name function under formula. Um, so this is per a trick that's particularly handy for um, HR professionals who are dealing with a large number of employees and uh, dealing with massive um, Excel data sheet. And um, I'll show you how that trick works. So for example, let's see the uh, Excel data sheet that I have right now has multiple columns. Um, and I need to calculate the total actual cash for last year for this person. So usually the way I, I do it is um, I have it as um, the total cash is defined as the base salary um, and and uh, plus the actual incentive paid. So that is how I have it. But then see that like because we have so many columns that I have to scroll back and forth for the numbers. And then it is also very difficult when I try to validate my number. So how can I make this practice more authentic? Well, um, then that's where you have um, the name manager. So for example, if one, let's name this column, uh, the base salary before merit increase. So you select the header and uh, you go control shift um, down and then it helps you to select all the columns with uh, data in it. You go to formula, create from selection, go to top row, click OK. Now you have um, this column named with the top row as the header. And then let's do the same thing for maybe all the columns here. So let's assume, um, so the, the great thing about the name manager is that you can actually name multiple columns at the same time. You don't need to do them one by one. So it's the same thing. We select all the headers. You go shift control down, you select all of them. Um, and then you go to create from selection and then we are also going to name them with the top row uh, and then just go OK. So, OK, let's go back to the total cash for last year. So we said we want it to be uh, the base pay. So you just click on like you just type in BA base and then you'll see those ones are popped up. You want to select the base salary before my language. So you have it uh, you have select the label there and then click tab and then it's selected and then you also want to add it with the actual incentive paid for last year so um, the actually starts with a and then maybe you go actual and then you have another few um, selections and then you go down to the actual incentive paid again uh, click tab and then you have the column you ha uh, you want, and then just uh, go enter, uh, and then you can also format it properly, and then just copy the formula down. Um, then you have all the um, numbers with exactly the columns that you selected, which is the base salary uh, before the mirror inquest. Um, and the actual incentive paid for last year. And then you get exactly the number that you want. So this becomes very handy when you have massive uh, spreadsheet and you want to have a very easy way to verify your formula. Um, so this is a trick that I'm sharing. I'm hoping it's helpful to you as well.